I'm Allie. And I'm Gina. And we're in Sharon Arthur Moore's Culinary Mystery Dinner is Served series. And we're here to show you our little cooking school and teach you how we do some of the things that we do. Today we're making Hermosilla salsa. Gina, do you remember when you were in college and I went to, with you to spring break even though I wasn't in college? Never quite got there, but um, we went to this restaurant and they had the best salsa. Oh yes! And I thought I could do that, and so we came home and played uh -huh. with it. And uh -huh. this is the recipe that we've come up with for Aramisia salsa. And we hope you like it, and we hope that you enjoy this Aramisia salsa. Indeed, has in it oh. some very fresh ingredients: uh, two to three green onions, depending upon the size. These are kind of large, so we're using two the juice of a whole lime or half of a lime, and that's using your taste-o-meter to decide what you want. Uh, two to three garlic cloves, again, that's a taste-o-meter uh, decision that you're going to make. Uh, I happen to like a lot of garlic, Gina not so much. And then about a handful of cilantro um, chopped up coarsely to add in, and again, you can adjust that as you would like. Now the canned goods that we're going to open up, this is such the easy recipe, we're going to use some wonderful diced tomatoes and this has some of the flavorings in it. You can get them with celery, with spices, with various things, or use plain. This has some spices in it. And we're going to use black beans, a can of Mexicorn, and a can of Macayo's green chilies. And they're not real, real hot, so if you want to adjust that heat, you can change the flavor level. In order to make this salsa, very few simple um, pieces of equipment, a very sharp paring knife and a cutting board, a bowl uh, that's sort of medium size that can hold the contents of the cans and the uh, other ingredients, a wonderful citrus juicer, and a can opener, of course, and a fabulous garlic press. Okay, to save time, we've already opened the cans and uh, I'm going to pour the contents into the bowl. Before, um, I have drained the beans for several reasons. One reason is that um, it's, it's healthier because I've uh, drained and rinsed the uh, sodium out, off of the beans and because it's also more aesthetically pleasing to look at uh, you you don't have that kind of dark color in your salsa so those are the several reasons that we um, drained and rinsed our black beans then we're going to add the Mexican corn And then we're going to add the chopped tomatoes and juice. And it might be too small. And then we're going to add the green chilies, wonderful green chilies. Then we're going to add our garlic, and we're using our garlic press. Very easy to use. No muss, no fuss. And our author, Sharon Arthur Moore, likes scarlet, too. Yes, she does. We know that she does. It's sort of like garlic paste coming out of there. Yes, it is. And then we're going to juice one half of a lime. Okay, and those are our uh, canned ingredients and our garlic and our lime juice. So you mix that up uh, first or are you going to mix it up with all the other stuff added in? I'm going to mix it up uh, with all the other stuff added in. Okay, let's go chop some stuff. I'm going to chop up the fresh things that go into this salad, other than the garlic and the lime. Um, wonderful cilantro. And I'm going to do a, a pretty good-sized handful 
Um, and you know the size of your hands is different, but that's kind of little. So I'm going to add a few more of these. Now Gina likes to put in the stems, and I put in the leaves. And we were having this conversation with parsley, with um, basil, with cilantro. I tend to not use the stems, and she does. And I just find that kind of interesting, that she likes little sticks in her stuff. But that's okay. Everybody likes it, and if, certainly you can eat it. It's plenty of uh, nutrients in those stems, too. Whether you want to add them in or not is your choice. So I'm just going to roughly slice these, because we just want some good-sized chunks in there. It'll add some intense flavor. The cilantro is a very wonderful green. It's very uh, fresh tasting. And um, it will add some wonderful color as well. So I'm just going to put some in here and we'll use our taste meter a little later and decide whether or not we want to put some additional in. Because they always have to do that. I'll just put it here. One of the advantages of these plastic things is you can bend them and put things in that way. Now, we have these couple of onions and um, you know you get them from the store and they have these sort of brownish kind of ends. Well, I'm sure it wouldn't kill you but I don't particularly <laughs> like the look of it. And you know that's probably edible too but it's history because I just don't like the look of it in my food even if I could eat it. I put my onions together and I'm going to make them fairly slim little pieces here. And onion is uh, again one of those flavors that people really like or they don't like it at all. And so I'm actually after I get this chopped I'm going to decide whether or not I want to put all of it in. I'm going to take a look at it as uh, we mix it up see if I like the color combination and see if I think that that's too much or not enough. It's always easier to add more. <laughs> so we have another half of our lime over there. We have more garlic over here. So we'll decide whether we need to add more, but you can't take it back out. You know, Gina, uh, I saw in one of those cooking catalogs, they have these little guards a little metal thing that you put here so you don't get your fingertips. Oh, yeah. Apparently a lot of chefs are without fingertips. Oh. That's what I read. I don't know if it's true or not. But. <laughs> so I'll put a bunch of this in. But that looks like a lot. So I'm just going to sort of put this to the side and we'll decide if we want to some more of it a little bit later. All right. Mix it all together. Doesn't that look fresh oh, and yes. lovely? I love it. Of course, it's better when it sits. So um, I was thinking that we could give this to uh, Evan, he's my boyfriend, uh, to take to the uh, police department picnic. Mm. I'll bet those police officers would really like this with a bunch of chips. Now, that's what it looks like. And had we not drained the beans, it would have been less, it would have been browner and it wouldn't have been quite as uh, red looking. That's why we did that. All right. Let me... Okay, Gina. Okay. Let's try it. Let's try it. Let's see if it, how it matches that spring break salsa. Mmm. Mm. Perfect. We did it. Did it. We don't need to add more onions. It fits our taste. Uh -huh. But there is more lime, there's more cilantro, there's more onion, there's more garlic. If you want for your taste to have a little bit more of one thing or another, you can do that. Thanks for. Coming to our cooking school. Yeah. See you next time. Bye. Bye.